So I'm hugely famous all over the world. Huge it's hard famous. for me to leave. Well, outside, funny enough, I was trying to park my car and there was just paparazzi everywhere. Everywhere, I know. Screaming fans. Thought like Lady Gaga was here, but it was me. It, well, I knew it was you. Yeah. I knew it was you. <laughs> I'm Oliver Trevino here at the Young Hollywood Studio with the lovely Caitlin Doubleday. How are you? I'm good, how are you? It's all, it, I love this girl. I love her. No, like, I love her. <laughs> love. I do. How much? I do. So much. <laughs> Moving on to uh, the biggest show on TV, Empire. Yeah, it's crazy, right? It's pretty amazing, isn't it? Season I know. finale, over 16 million. I'll meet you at Love and Nine in the War. Okay, 8 o'clock? Yeah. And on top of that, Jamal is going damn crazy. Why would you make him marry some stupid ass backup singer? Now we gotta deal with her baby mama. Chad, no, I'm joking! But yes, it's amazing. It's really, going, going into this, I mean, obviously people like Lee Daniels, right. Danny Strong behind it, right. um, Brian Grazer, you know, yeah. this massive, huge team. Right. When you get involved in a project like that, is it, because you never know nowadays, you know, you never know how it's gonna no. go. No, 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 no. Would you sure, being on, I don't know. I feel like when I got it, I was like, well, obviously something's going to happen with this show. It's not going to be dead. Like, even if, let's say, Fox was like, nah, we don't want it anymore. I knew something. Maybe Amazon would buy it or whatever. Right, right. So, but I didn't know it was going to become like this sensationalized thing that was like the biggest show in the world. Definitely didn't know that part. Yes. <laughs> and every person in the world has seen it. And every, every single person, in the world has seen person seen it. whether after they speak interview, English or after not. After we plug it this much, they will. Yeah, this is great. Seriously. This is perfect. This is perfect. Seriously. Um, it is it, on in like 44 countries or something like that. It's crazy. I know. So I'm hugely famous all over the world. Hugely it's hard famous. for me to leave. Well, outside, funny enough, I was trying to park my car and there was just paparazzi everywhere. Everywhere, I know. Screaming fans. You thought like Lady Gaga was here, but it was me. It, well, I knew it was you. Yeah. I knew it was you. I, was, <laughs> I, I knew I was coming to interview you, not and you're Lady like, Gaga. Wow. God, this has really thrown me off. I had some questions about the Monster Ball tour. <laughs> <laughs> now it's now it's gone completely. I wrong. can answer those too. Can you? Yeah. How was it dressing in the, the meat suit at the Grammys? I smelled really bad. Okay, yeah. okay, great, great. And now back to you, <laughs> now back to you. It's good, you can play several characters. You're Thank very good you. actress, very good actress. For the five people in the world that haven't seen Empire, it's uh, it's based around the, the music industry, the hip hop world. Yes. Um, and it's, 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 it's hardcore. It's a, you know, it's, you yeah, see I the mean, other side of- It's like a, it's, it's a soap. I feel like that's what was so like, everyone asked, what's the biggest surprise? And I feel like that, that I'm so surprised that America wanted like a over the top soapy, like, you know, in the season finale, there's like a hundred twists and turns. You can't go one minute without going like, oh my God. So it's really fun. I mean, every time you get a script, you're like, Jesus, okay. Right, right. Here we go. Um, the show gets a lot of referrals to Dynasty. Yeah. Um, how would you say it's a fresh take? Well, Dynasty is definitely about a, you know, a very wealthy family and the, the people are fighting over money and are at odds with each other and that's kind of, it's basically the same thing in that Terrence Howard is going to leave his company. He has ALS, well, although we find out later he doesn't have ALS. And for um, anyone that hasn't seen the, <laughs> hasn't seen the few episodes or seen any more, um, that people that's is a spoiler. That's a spoiler alert, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so he's going to leave it to one of his three sons and then, you know, the drama ensues because all three I really can't believe because I just started watching the show that uh -huh. you've just told me that you've just completely oh, shoot. ruined it sorry that is terrible honestly because it's so soapy and like a million things happen right. that's just one of like a hundred twists okay. and turns okay I mean it's, it's a, a big, big one, one. <laughs> and the, the dynamic between uh, Lucius and Cookie is, is pretty intense as well it's a pretty amazing yeah. thing to watch yeah totally I mean they have awesome chemistry just themselves so I think for everyone they're like I want them to be together I want them to be together and then you know for him to be dating Anika like that's it's really fun to watch her and Boo Boo Kitty you know I'm robbing you for your love she's robbing me for my love it's a shake down shake down, down. boy you ain't gotta say nothing well baby put your hands up there uh, yet yeah, when they start performing, yeah, they're, I was they're just like blown away. Yeah. I thought, oh my god, this is going to be awesome. I can't wait for people to see this. And it just felt awesome to be a part of it and think, wow, I get to watch these people come to set every day, and all the stars that come at, on as guests. It's been like amazing. Yeah, I was going to say that I met some amazing guest stars on the show. Yeah, like when Gladys Knight was singing at the mm -hmm. funeral, I was just like, my character shouldn't be crying because she's like a but bitch. You, yeah. But I was literally like. <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, you're, you're Ronda, you're Ronda in the show. We yeah. haven't covered that yet. Um, quite a strong, sassy, determined woman. I know, it's 
so different Met from you've been me. Method acting. You've yeah. been method acting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and when, when you're reading that, is that, that, that's a role you like to play, obviously. Um, yeah, I don't think I've ever played somebody as like manipulative and cold. Like, right. I don't consider myself a cold person. I'm pretty... <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> Only Sorry, with people that I that I that I like, I'm okay. really warm with. Okay, it's the people you don't like. Right. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. So continue. you might have a different experience. Okay. Um, but you anyway, and Andre, going you back this, on. You and Andre have this yeah. lovely, like, probably the only nice couple in there. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. We. Love. Yeah. We're people like the love. bad guys, right. but we're actually the only functioning relationship on the show. Right. So it's been fun to explore that. And Danny Strong told us when I got the part that it was based on King Lear with the three sons and then Lady Macbeth and Macbeth for our characters. So he okay. has um, a mental illness and can't really do much without her. They've been together 10 years and she pulls the strings and he's she's like the puppet master for whatever mm -hmm. Andre's doing. I have a feeling that they're gonna become the good guys because at the end he sort of finds God and she does this awful thing and then they find out something else that crazy about their life. I kind of liked exploring how kinky they, their relationship was. not At first I was like, oh, I hope that they're just not having sex every episode. But then it was kind of awesome to see people's reaction to it. Like, wow, he cheats on her, comes back home, and there's like that moment where she's like, what were you doing? And it's like, call me her name. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves that. And it's not on TV really. So it's kind of fun like being that risque and like having somebody like Lee Daniels who loves to push buttons. Um, and we, we mentioned the, uh, the obviously huge factor of the show is the music. Um, yeah. which is Timberland behind yeah. it. I mean, yeah. it's just the power yeah. behind this show is yeah. insane. Totally. Um, and it's the number one album. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah. I remember when I when I was auditioning for it and, and testing with Andre, we, we were leaving and Danny Strong was talking about, you know, who else was cast and what it was going to be like. I hadn't gotten it yet, but I felt like I was going to get it. And I was walking out to the car because the last thing he said to me was, oh, you didn't know we, we hired Timberland to do the music. And I remember like walking out to my car going, because I, at that moment, I was like, oh, this is gonna be something. And I grew up on Timberland, like, 100%. You do a lot uh, with animals as well. Um, there's, a, there's a recent article out that you sold your dog to a drug dealer. I did not sell my dog. Okay, drug someone dealer. else sold the dog to yes. a drug dealer. But yeah, that's, that's a pretty crazy story. What was that? It is, I mean, I was, uh, it was so long ago. Yeah, he was stolen, and then we, I put up all these signs everywhere for a reward, and then these kids called and said, we kind of have your dog, but we gave him to our drug dealer and we're gonna try to bring him back, but we need to get the money from you. Then we went to the cop station and said, do we have to give them this $2,000 reward? Because they basically stole our dog and sold it to a drug dealer. And he was like, I'll help you out. So we didn't know this, my boyfriend at the time and I, and he, the cop set up like a sting operation, jumped out, arrested the kids. They were using our cell phone to call the drug dealer to try and lower the, the $2,000 down. This is a show in itself. Unbelievable. And then, so the kids get arrested and we're like, what the hell? Now we're never gonna get our dog back because they were like the, the go-between. The exactly. The right, got so now the drug dealer's never gonna call us back because he's gonna think he's gonna get arrested. So I literally started calling him 30 times a day. I was like, I'll meet you anywhere. I will not arrest you. I'll give you anything you want. Blah, blah, blah. Couldn't sleep. It was awful. We hired a private investigator who we went out to dinner with and we were like, if you find him, how are you going to get him back? At this cute little restaurant in Larchmont and he went like this and he had two guns on him and I was like, this is insane. Okay, so cut to the next day. We get a call from Vato, the drug dealer's girlfriend, saying, hey, I think there's a misunderstanding. I think I have your dog. It's been like a week. And I'm like, what? Oh my God, yes, yes, yes. Get the dog back. We give her $500 because we're stupid and we just want to be nice and we get the dog back and then this old man calls like that night and I was like hello and he was like hey I heard you got your dog back and I was like yeah he was like well that's because my grandson called he's in the he's in a some famous gang that I hadn't heard of and he said that this guy was gonna get gang in jail if he didn't give you the dog back that's why his girlfriend called and gave you the dog back the end that viewers is Caitlin Doubleday that's who she is she loves her dogs. You do love your dogs. You love your animals. You work with shelters. And stuff like that. I do. I work at NKLA all the time and I, I love it. Just I don't always... ever take her dog. Don't ever take her dog.